Hey, yo. hey YouTube, today I will uh, do a uh, comparison between uh, Banjo Kazooie, the original on the Nintendo 64, as you see, I have the capacity. Again, Banjo Kazooie in an emulator on a laptop. On a laptop. Now I will. Uh, and then we can do it with Xbox 360, the gamepad, and the one that can do the original everyone with Genesis 64, original Kazooie, and original gamepad, even if it's an old, like, fuck up a little. Yeah. Okay. Now both of them I will run on this TV, but I can I don't know how to do spill singing. So I show you the Nintendo 64 gameplay. Uh, which one end? I know that it's not ideal because my camera is not uh, that great, but I will tell you my impression. Now. This game is it's still pretty good, even in today's standard, in the original, but uh, it's a little bit of suck up. And it feels like you play it on an old TV, on an old car, the uh, next TV. Yeah. So, yeah. This is Panda Kazooie. Now, the Nintendo 64 gamepad is not this great. Now, I, I know that there are a lot of people that uh, tell you to play on the other version. I think if you really want to get the experience of the uh, original console, buy them. Unless it's uh, something like Negro that costs too much. But uh, basically, you can buy second hand uh, console. Most of the console are pretty cheap and the game is pretty cheap if you want the experience of the console. But if you want the game itself, um, I will show you how the emulator works. Now, first of all, this gamepad is much, much more better than Nintendo 64 gamepad. The pixel quality is much, much more better. I, I don't know how the Xbox 360 version of uh, Bandai Kazooie, but the simulator, this simulator uh, makes this game look much more better, especially if you put all kind of filter and things. And yeah. Now, yes, I mistakenly don't know that the pan version, but I do have the win strategy, so don't send me FBI. Don't send FBI to me. But I do have the original. Anyway. Okay. All kind of thing, blah blah blah. Leave me alone. Come on, come on. Stop taking. Let me go! Ah. Let me go! Forgot that in the beginning it sticks too much this fucking action. Stop the clocking! Come on! I want to see, to, to see people on YouTube the wonder of simulator. Ah, oh, okay, now look at this, it looks much more smooth, it ran very good, yeah, now I don't have the move now, so it's just the beginning, you can look, it looks very good, for the 1064 games, much more better, Yeah. Now, so you 
again. Intel 64 with the remote. So, oh, ah, yeah. Now, look again, it's the Nintendo 64. Now it's not like that look uh, look uh, worse. It's only self control worse because it's fucking sick. One of the problem with the K64 that this fucking analog uh, feel re really bad after a couple of months. If you need for me, I have four four controller four uh, gamepad, and every one of them have this fucking analog. But yeah. Oops. Oh. Now, if you really want to play Murato, now look how smooth if you can see. If you really want to play Murato, you need to have some. It is. Now, for all consoles, I already done a review, review on this, and you need to, to check if this is the original or some fake. For old school emulator like Super Nintendo, uh, Mega Drive, uh, Neo Geo, all kind of this emulator, buy a USB set or and gamepad. It's great. If you not believe me, go to a uh, classic game room. They also said the same thing. It's a different, it's great. It's better than the right place. For 2D game, this is great. For 3D, 3D game, this is the closest, closest thing for great. But anyway, this is the comparison between Nintendo 64 and some long letter. Uh, in, ah, by the way, it's Project 64 this emulator, and thank the develop, developer for the, uh, of this, so goodbye YouTube.